In less than a year, Star Strategic Plan has moved from talk to action. And all of us that have lived in St. Louis for a while know that that is not a very easy accomplishment. Today, you will focus on some key issues. Most importantly, you're gonna be focusing on evaluation and measuring the work that you do in order to determine does the work that your organization does or does the work that you volunteer make a difference in the lives of those people that are coming back into our society. STAR is your chance to tackle the issues. Tackle the real issues in metropolitan St. Louis. Find the solutions. Share best practices. Measure and evaluate the outcomes and make offenders lives and the lives of our region more vibrant and more welcoming for all. You know, I've talked to Mayor Slay many times about reentry um, during the period of time. I've been with the mayor almost 10 years now, and he is a, an individual who I think gets it in terms of understanding the importance of this issue. You know, we, we included uh, reentry of ex-offenders in our 10-year plan to end chronic homelessness, which we implemented uh, five years ago, because we understand the importance of this issue. As someone who sees homelessness on a daily basis, uh, this is an issue that we need to address and do it effectively. So this effort today, the summit, all of you here uh, participating in this effort, uh, I want to commend you for being here, having an interest. Uh, together we can make a real difference in terms of addressing the needs of people who are trying to make that, uh, that adjustment, uh, making it back into the community. So many thanks for being here today and I look forward to the good work that goes on uh, at this summit today. To get a snapshot of why education matters, um, you know, we don't need to look any further than some of these numbers. As you can see, the recidivism rate for GED completers is 20% less than the general prison population and 44% less for college degree completers. So chances are, if you're in prison, you get a college degree, you're not going back to prison. Um, you're already on the right track. Um, and really some job, really any job, um, to start out after their release is far better than no job at all. So in, in Missouri, a majority, 54%, released from prison without full-time work, return to prison, while only 14% with a full-time job return. It's easy to be cynical. It's easy to think negatively, but we're not going to do that, are we? We're going to work hard and harder and do the best that we can. What we do, what we do as a group and individually, is the moral, the right, and the ethical thing to do. And so that's why we do what we do. The information we present today is designed to help us build our skills and build our ability to more successfully deliver our services to our clients. As noted by Director Lombardi and has been the theme today, we need to coordinate. We need to complement the work of each other. And that is more critical today than ever. Resources are scarce. Current financial state demands that we maximize our ability, which can only be accomplished by relying on the strengths of our partners. Well, you're bringing together a community of various different uh, organizations and individuals who are in the whole scheme of the situation. You're bringing them all together at one time at the same place. So one, they're going to hear the same information. They're going to have the ability. A lot of this is about networking. A lot of this, I had so many people come up and say, you know, I do this one piece. I do housing. I don't do job training. And I'm always trying to figure out who does job training because I, I have one piece. So at this summit, I met four other organizations who did the job training piece. A summits like this are very important. And what they actually do is provide a mechanism where people from different organizations and different locations and different professions can come together at one place where normally they would have to come on one another's turf. They'd have to be intimidated by the different expertise or size or those kinds of things. In a summit like this, it doesn't matter because everybody's on equal basis and a common ground. Um, this is really important. There's, there's a lot of benefits, but the biggest benefit I think is networking. Uh, there's a lot of people here that haven't met them other people um, before and so they get resources for the program that they're doing so I think that um, making those 
Connections really provides a lot more resources for their program. Um, another thing is just information sharing. So I had a lot of people say, I never knew that before, or I've always wanted to learn more about this topic. So I think it brings a lot more data easily to a large group of people, which we have 300 here today. Mm -hmm.